BC has done a video on it, Ormi has done a video on it, I figured and now it was time to go up here and see if we could actually find some decent red deer. I have known for a long time that this is one of the hotspots of Cuatro Colinas where um, you're going to be finding a lot of different animals drinking early in the morning but especially red deer should be very very easy to find up here in this area. We do have uh, pretty much everything that could be drinking at this hour, seems to be drinking at this hour. Got some mouflon coming in as well, got a female red deer, got a roe deer, and another male red deer right there. It is, of course, all the way to the top in the northeastern corner, just outside an outpost. It's 6, I think actually 5.30 if you just want to go for red deer um, specifically, but 6.30 till 9 is like heaven for drinking animals up here. And um, I decided to go check it out. Fresh spawn just got in here. I haven't had a look around, so I have no idea what we're going to be finding. But it's pretty much only going to be this little lake we're going to be paying attention to. Because a lot of animals coming out of here. And um, that should potentially, if I wasn't bad, be a dead red deer. We could take the six on the other side of the lake as well, but um, what I plan on doing here is actually just try to walk the entire lake all the way around and see what we find. We just shot one level six and uh, over there, that's the other one. I suppose we could just shoot it honestly and um, then make that our final destination. I'm um, not really sure about the distance here, about 225, so right in between two syrinks, of course. Let's just do something silly here and go there, and there, and that should take him down, it does indeed. He did start dropping, and I think we're just going to be walking around, because else we're going to be spooking a lot of animals while running but uh, so far, just outside the outpost, and we've already killed two red deer. You can see all of the zones here as well. Let's just pick the first one up that we got pretty lucky with. Oh my god, what a shot, the second one. Ah, we did damage the trophy organ. Dang, not that it matters too much, but um, still pretty cool. Ooh. Oh, I got some road here that we just ended up... Ooh, what is that? How big was that guy? We just spooked something that actually looked really big. Let's just not care at all about all the mouflon and... Oh my god! I have no idea how big that guy was. We could just see the antlers. I mean, it could it could be a big seven without me knowing. But um, we definitely need to go and find that guy. We do have even more red deer drinking down there. There is a six, but I don't believe that can be the one that we just spooked. He looked way bigger than that. Or else I just haven't looked at a big red deer for quite a while. Ooh, there he is. It's a big mythical. Uh, oh well. He's definitely going to have to go down at some point. I'm pretty sure he's going to turn around eventually. If we just give him a little bit of space, I think we should be all good. Still scouting for our red deer, but there's just so many mouflon right here as well. Seems to be some pretty decent ones in between, but I want that big mythical. Another big mouflon. He's there. He's nervous. Oh, there we go. That might work out. Oh, damn tree. Can I get... That's the way to do it. I wonder if we actually ended up spooking the other ones. I don't think we did. <laughs> So, should we just shoot the stags then? I mean, suppose we might as well. So six right there. He's calm, so he's not going to be going anywhere. That, oh my god, that uh, mythical right there really had me fold for a moment. But uh, I get why they call this the best spot on uh, Quattro for the red deer. So far, we have been here like five minutes and already gotten three males down and we have another one in our sights somewhere should be an easy kill as well 
Might actually end up getting too close on the red tier now. I don't know where the... Oh, wow. He's still far away. He's all the way down there. Ooh. <laughs> oh, he looks big. Small diamond rack on that thing. And there we have the other ones drinking. We might as well just take that six, honestly. Don't want to shoot it. Just want to look at it. So many animals. This place is crazy. Suppose we should be alright running all the way up there, even though that we just fired a shot, so probably spooked whatever would be anywhere close regardless. So let's just go and take this guy, who is a um, ah, beautiful guy. I love that rack. Can we get like a decent picture of this? That would be amazing. Let's look at the sun! My god. <laughs> oh, that's one thing. I really, 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 really don't hope they're gonna mess up the red deer. That's just gonna be unbearable. But a decent size. We need 249 for diamond, so quite far away. It is a small rack as well, so didn't expect anything else, but it's still actually I'm I'm inclined to keep it because I don't think I will get another one at some point uh, of the small diamond rack so might as well just keep it for now and the small level six is right here died right in his tracks as well think i cut the spinal cord i did indeed so no vital hit on that thing unfortunately well it was a vital but we didn't damage any of the vitals so did not count let's just uh, continue our way around here but that's so far for red deer that's pretty crazy in the amount of time that we've been playing. All of these spots are dead red deer stags. We actually kind of need to get a move on here because um, time is running out. They're only drinking till 9 and it's now 8.30. So we have another herd here. Might just have to see if we uh, spot any males running off. Because right now I don't see any. Oh, there was one. That's a small boy. And that was basically it for the males. I don't feel like we need to go ahead and shoot that. That's <laughs> definitely not anything out of the ordinary. It's another level 6. But another red deer herd drinking right here. Usually I find red deer at this end as well. Right now we have a pretty decent size roe deer. So I do believe we should just take him down. But I don't understand why I don't see my red deer herd. Because... I pretty much always have a red deer herd drinking down here in this end as well. That might have just been the one that we just ended up spooking around though. But I think that should definitely get the 243 treatment. Shouldn't really be any anything hard to do from this distance. Might actually get it to walk around a little. Would be nice to just get the broad side. Come on. You should be able to hear me by now. Oh, you are... That's a big boy. He's going to be turning. He is going to be turning. Come on. Nope, you're not. And I don't know why I decided to take shots like that. But um, probably eventually go down. Yep, there we go. If it wasn't because my shooting was horrendous, um, we would have stayed pretty close to the lake. So we're just going to auto run up there while we picked this boy up. Actually not that far off. 30 kilos and um, just 13, well, 12 and a half points away from diamond. But I... Ah. That was so close to cutting the neck, which was the um, shot we went for. Oh, I think we spooked it. Oh, there it is. That's another level 6. I mean, I suppose we might as well see if we can get it down. I am afraid we might have caught that one in the uh, the brain as well. It wasn't really anything big either, but um, that's five stacks at this little lake. And we saw another one run off up there. And has it taken... Has it taken like... Te oh my god. Ten real life minutes to run the entire way around here. And there's even another one. That's a small boy. He's kind of bugged, but let's just... 
get him down as well. That's really kind of crazy. Getting this amount of stacks up here. I mean, all of them could have potentially been pretty big ones. Now, these weren't, but I don't know. It's definitely... I, I knew it was a good place, but everybody else has been seemingly making... Oh, look at that shot. Making a hotspot guides around this lake and... Uh, I would definitely include it in my own as well. This isn't the only place I hunt red deer, so if you want, I'll probably at some point end up making a uh, more in-depth red deer hotspot guide for uh, Quattro Colinas, at least where I go and find most of them. This is, um, was this number six? And then we saw the seventh run off and we might have even spooked even more. I have quite a ways to run back to the last one up there. Oh. And there we go, another level 6 on our way back to the um, first one we shot. Ah, uh, that was a bit of a Hail Mary. Let's see if we can actually make something out of it. There we go. Ooh, that was quite far inland compared to where I initially wanted to go, but uh, I'm pretty sure you would have still found these if you were running out at the... <laughs> This is insane! All of these dots except that one down there is red deer. Well, let's just pick up this one. I do believe this is going to be the last one that we're going to be shooting off the lake or around the lake up here. But the amount of level 6 was quite crazy, but we did get a big mythical one. And um, then, of course, we have the other one here. The drink zone just ended, and I think I started around 8-ish, maybe 7.30-ish in game time if you want the red deer drinking do it from 5 30 till 9 if you want the other species to be drinking as well do it from about 6 30 because that's a roe deer and we got some piggies chilling down there and the uh, mouflon drinking at that time as well so uh, could definitely be some nice opportunity kills as well this was just to test out like bc hops and army gaming's red deer hotspot and um yeah i gotta say it delivered that's Pretty good for about 20-25 minutes of game time. I don't know how long I actually ended up spending on it, but um, that's another stag. And uh, there might have even been even more, but this was just what we found by running around like a crazy guy right here. Thank you so very much for watching.